video is Fashionika and today I have a designer haul for you. Please do not think that this is like, oh, I spent thousands and thousands of dollars. No, um, I do love buying designer, but I am not willing to pay full price for it. So that being said, I'm going to be showing you pieces that I scored deals on that are still designer. I do really like quality as opposed to quantity these days. Um, I'm seeing myself invest a little bit more in pieces because I know it'll last for a few years as opposed to a few months. Don't get me wrong though, I still like shopping at Zara and like Forever 21, but I just realized I'm really starting to invest in pieces. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Also, there are a few things that I'm actually going to put up on my Poshmark because one, they were like the wrong size. Another, I decided on only keeping one color. If you are interested, my Poshmark is at XOXONika and I'll be selling the things on there. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a lot, you guys. <laughs> um, the first item, so keep in mind, this has been accumulated you know, the past few months, this wasn't just like a whole splurge, but I just wanted to do a collective haul for you guys. So this is the first item. This is by Paige, and it is this beautiful ruffle top. I think that it's perfect for spring. I actually styled it on my Instagram already, but I just love how like whimsical the style is. Like one goes on top of the shoulder, the other sleeve goes off the shoulder. Um, I love the quality. It's, it's actually like a really light linen material. I really like this piece though. It definitely like screams designer to me, uh, especially when I wear it. I just feel so like, I don't know, it sparks joy. It was regularly $170, but your girl got it for $22? Yeah, I believe I got it for $22. Honestly, such a good deal. If you know Paige, Paige is really good quality, so I can't believe I scored it. Um, I actually got it at Nordstrom Rack. If you ever pass by Nordstrom Rack and are curious about it, totally go in and check it out. They have bomb deals. Anyways, that being said, such a steal. This is a hat that I have been hunting for for quite a long time. I initially saw it on my girlfriend Alyssa and she rocks it with all her outfits and I'm just like damn like she can really pull that hat off and I started to realize that a lot of bloggers do have this hat. When I went online to Lack of Color it was actually sold out like all of the colors too and I was like what the heck like I really want it but again not willing to pay like a lot of money because their hats are pretty expensive it was like 130 but either way I couldn't have bought it because it's sold out where they were out of sight like nowhere online until I went on um, Princess Polly and they randomly just had a sale on their ranchers. Let me show you the hat. This is called the Ivory Rancher. It's like a really tall hat with like a thick wide brim. I think it is just so freaking cool. Thought it would go with a lot of my outfits so I decided to invest but it was not $130. I ended up getting it for $70. Um, I ended up also buying a brown one. And I don't know. I was so torn on the color I wanted to keep. If I should keep both or if I should just keep one. I asked you guys on Instagram and you guys all voted to keep the ivory one as opposed to the brown. I do like the brown taupey one, but... I do think that I'll get a lot more use out of this hat. But yeah, I really like this hat. I'm so excited that I finally grabbed it because I was like lying awake like waiting. Like when am I going to get this hat? Am I ever going to get this hat? Because it just, I didn't have access to it. This next item, oh my god. Ah, I'm obsessed with these, but I don't think I'm keeping it because, I don't know, they are just a little bit too pricey. I'm definitely going to sell these on my Poshmark. They're dad shoes, and you either love dad shoes or you hate them. I love dad shoes. I think these are freaking dope. So this is by the brand Sandro, and they are these super sick dad sneakers. They're called like the flame sneakers. They have like the flame tag in the back, but oh, these are so sick. Sick. They're obviously like a designer shoe. I think they're a statement conversation piece shoe. I love the flames on the side and there's even flames at the bottom. This is just such a unique piece. Absolutely love them. I would wear this with honestly like anything, especially because I wear denim all the time. Like this is just like 
a go-to sneaker. This was regularly $255, but I ended up finding it for $130, which is a pretty good deal if you think about it, but I don't know, I just don't see myself investing in these dad sneakers for $130, but that's just me. Like, I love the Balenciagas, but again, not willing to spend $1,000 for them. So anyways, with that being said, let's move on to the next item. This next item, a little bit of a splurge, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, I actually got this top when I went to Santa Barbara with my boyfriend. So this was, I would say, two months ago. Um, it is this beautiful top. I haven't even worn it yet because it's more of like a spring style, which I'm totally fine with. Um, it's very luxurious. I can, like the material is just so nice. Um, it has some ruching and it's a one shoulder. So this brand is called Syncacept. Um, Syncacept is a really luxurious brand. Honestly, they're super overpriced, so I will not ever pay full price for this. But um, I thought it was so nice. And it's funny because um, I actually, we got this at, I believe it was a Bloomingdale's. Don't quote me on that. It was one of those high-end like department stores, but they were closing that store, so everything was super inexpensive. I would sell this with like an all-white outfit, some linen pants would look so cute with this for like a nice casual size summer day or I could style it with like a black high waist slim pant. I actually just um found a girl wearing it. Uh it is wait ah uh, it is so freaking cute on her. I'm obsessed. And I would again like I would just style it with th these jeans too. It was regularly $245 but um with the sale it ended up only being 50 so Still such a good deal for Syncacept. Their quality is amazing. And I finally own a Syncacept piece. So I have been looking for this bag for a very long time. I'm not like a huge fan of Rebecca Minkoff, but when I saw this style, I knew like this is perfect, especially for going on trips. It's just like so versatile. So I knew I needed this bag, but I was not willing to pay how much for it like two hundred dollars this bag actually retails for 195 on nordstrom right now and i was really contemplating getting it for full price but i knew if i tried hard i would find it for a good deal and i did this is the mini julian convertible backpack i don't really like huge backpacks i like the smaller ones so that it can be like worn as a purse as well i actually bought this for my trip to the philippines because i thought it's like the perfect backpack for that there is a lot of theft in the Philippines, so uh, what I would do is I would just close it up like so and then that way no one can try and steal my wallet or anything. I just liked the style of it and I really appreciate that it is a convertible backpack. Initially, Rebecca Minkoff sold these, Jul they're called the Julian backpack, but they sell them in different sizes but none of them are convertible, only the mini one is. I like the versatility in it. I can wear it as a crossbody, I can wear it as a little shoulder bag, or I can just wear it as a backpack. There's so many different ways, and I just thought it was like the perfect bag for me, especially with my busy schedule. But again, wasn't willing to pay $200 for it, but I randomly found it actually on this site called Style Haven. They ended up selling this for only $68, but I just like the quality of it too because it is made of like that quality soft like nice leather it's just so nice and supple ah i love it i have never owned doc martin before so pretty salty about this but they just ended up being too big on me and i don't want to pay the return shipping fee i accidentally got a woman's size seven when i should have gotten like a woman's size six but I definitely feel the difference. So anyways, um, these are the 2976 Smooth um, Chelsea boot. These are one of their most popular Doc Martens. I freaking love these boots. A lot of vloggers wear them. I think the traction is great. It's gonna be nice and comfortable um, when walking around. I got these for when I went to San Francisco last week, but they ended up just not working out. Wait, these are unisex as well, just an FYI. It's a men's six and a woman's seven. So if you guys are interested, I got these for $145. I would wear these with a dress to make it really edgy. You can wear it with some denim. You can wear it literally with anything. They're just your typical like 
perfect black boot and especially if you are traveling or walking around like Doc Martin is known for being like just the comfort shoe so anyways I'm putting these up on my Poshmark this next item this is actually my last clothing piece because everything else is accessories I realized I'm like an accessories kind of girl um this oh it is a Veronica beard blouse I'm really into like one shoulder as you can tell from like my other tops that I've showed you guys. It's honestly so stinking cute on. I really think that I'm going to get a lot of use of this with this um, especially in the summertime because it's just so breathable and it's like weight and I won't be like sweating my butt off. I'm just really excited to like go to like a pool party or a barbecue or a picnic. I don't know, I'm really into like the lighter colors as you can tell from the tops that I've showed you. So Veronica Beard, like first off, I freaking love that brand. Um, if you don't know, it's actually two designers who started Veronica Beard and both of their names are Veronica Beard. Like they're actually sister-in-laws, but both of their names are Veronica. When I used to work at Nordstrom, I used to work with that brand a lot. <laughs> I'm so excited about these. These ones actually are shoes that fit perfectly. Um, they are by Vince. Vince, yes. I love Vince clothing. I, yeah, even when I worked at Nordstrom, I just was obsessed with their line. Uh, so good, so minimal, like, but also classic. Like, all their pieces just went perfectly with the other piece. They just really knew a woman's body type. I decided to get these shoes. I have been wanting these shoes for a very long time. Ever since I worked at Nordstrom, when I saw them, I instantly knew, like, I really, really wanted them. These are honestly, like, I've already worn them. That's why they have wrinkles already. <laughs> but I wore these ones to San Francisco and they were so stinking comfortable these are the Vince Verrill uh, suede slip-on shoe in the color putty um, I love these shoes because yo these like go with everything and I'm so lazy so slip-ons just really work for me I I don't know I can't deal with laces that's why the dad shoe is great but it's just like how often am I really gonna wear it? I don't know, I just, I love these shoes so much and they're like the most basic thing ever, but like, oh my God, they're totally worth the investment. They were regularly $200 at Nordstrom, but they were having a sale, so I ended up getting it for 100, which is not bad because I can definitely see myself wearing this over like 100 times. So if you calculate that, that's a dollar per day. This has been a huge haul, but I have one more item. I'm so freaking excited about uh yeah i decided to save it best for last it was actually a gift from my boyfriend it is something that i have been wanting for a very long time and i actually got this bag a few months ago actually but i just haven't debuted it yet until now i have done a lot of research and i knew that this is my next designer bag that i really wanted because i love the style of it the size is great let me just show you this is the Louis Vuitton Petit Noé and I don't know, oh, vibes, yes. I did a lot of research on this one. This is definitely like a classic favorite style for Louis Vuitton. I'm going to take really good care of this bag because... Is so nice. <laughs> I really appreciate this size. It's easy to throw in like all of my junk basically and just haul it over to work. I can throw in quite a lot with this bag. They do have a bigger size, but I really wanted to keep the petite style. I thought it was the perfect size for me. This is more of like an everyday bag as opposed to like an evening bag. I do really, really love this style. It's just so classic and bucket bags are always going to stay in style. It did come as a bow, but I did the petite noe string like they suggest online and i think it's great because you can really now adjust how wide you want the bag i put filling because you know your girl takes care of her designer bags anyways i do really love this bag i think that it's gonna last me for years to come and then i can hand it down to my own daughter this is my favorite item of this video so yeah all right you guys that wraps up this huge designer haul thank you so much for watching till the end you you guys are the real ones if you do like designer hauls or just hauls in general just give me a like so I know to do more of these anyways with that being said thanks again for watching subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video all right hugs and kisses bye guys <laughs>